Hey guys, welcome to another one time review. Today I'm going to try one of these Fast Bites barbecue chicken sandwiches. It's a barbecue chicken patty on a bun. Um, we bought these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And they are 360 calories. They, I say they, as in all these sandwiches. Uh, this particular one, there's only one, is 360 calories. And there's the other stuff for you. Um, directions. Um, it says best results heat from frozen, which is unusual because most of these sandwiches they like you to. It's actually better if you thaw them, but this one says keep it frozen. Remove from the box. Open one end of the wrapper. Microwave on high for seventy to eighty-five seconds. I'll probably just do. Um, I'll probably do seventy-five. Allow sandwich to rest for one minute prior to serving, and microwave very adjust accordingly. So it does have a pull tab over here. I'll probably do 75 because I'm not always pretty decent. I don't have a super powerful one, but I've got a pretty decent one. So this is it. Let's see if kind of weird all the bun. And it's all frozen, so I can't push it back up the real. Anyway, I'll open one end of this and I'm going to put it on a paper plate just to make it easier on me. And I'll be back when it comes out. Okay, here it is out of the microwave. I have let it sit for a minute. And then I just open the plastic up just so it would have something to sit on. So um, what does it look like? Yeah, not too bad. It's got some barbecue sauce. I don't know what the bottom looks like. I'll flip it over. And the bottom gets a little wet and soggy anyway, so you probably want to flip it over, honestly, to let it cool off. Yeah, just sauce on that side. Ooh, very steamy. So I'm going to let this sit and cool off. I'll probably take this bun off, actually. I'm going to let it cool off, and I'll be back once it has. Okay, it's cooled off a bit, and let me tell you, that bun, it holds a lot of heat. I mean, it's still, it's still pretty hot. So here's what I'm going to take right off the edge. It's kind of hard to eat out of the middle. Hmm. I like the sesame bun. I, I love sesame seeds anyway. So the bun that has all these sesame seeds on it, I like. I just like that texture. Um, the flavor is actually pretty decent. The texture is decent. What I like about it is the... Um, First of all, the bread is good and um, got a good texture to it. It's not chewy. It's not doughy or mushy. It's um, it's got a good uh, I don't know. It's got a good pull to it. So it's not it's not like bagel tough, but it is firmer than like a slice of bread. Um, the chicken itself doesn't seem to be like a processed, like squished up patty. Um, it seems to be actually a slice of chicken. And the barbecue sauce, while you can taste it, it's, it's good. It's just not a really strong barbecue sauce. So the only negative I have is this barbecue sauce. You have this little bit of sweet smokiness, but it's not, I don't know, there's not a lot of it, but it's still pretty good. Mm -hmm. I have to say, um, like I said, the only thing I have complained about is I wish I had more barbecue sauce, or the sauce had a little bit more flavor in it. But beyond that, for a dollar, I think this is a pretty decent sandwich. It's pretty good size. Um, the flavors are good. It's um, the yeah the flavor the barbecue sauce could be a little more flavorful, but that's it. It's literally the only complaint I have about it. So I'm gonna give this, believe it or not, a four. I think it's really good. Definitely worth trying out. Uh, if you got a Dollar Tree in your area, go buy this for a dollar. Take it, heat it up for lunch and try it out. I think you'll like it. Like I said, maybe you want to put your own barbecue sauce on it or maybe if you have a package of Arby sauce, you want to squirt some Arby sauce on it um, just to add a little bit more of that sauce flavor. But I think the bun and the chicken is good and the barbecue sauce, while light in flavor, it's still a good sauce. So yeah, I'm going to give it a four. Definitely worth trying out for a buck. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.